The Environmental Protection Agency has withdrawn an objection concerning the proposed Marquette County Road 595. The road will provide a more direct route from the Rio Tinto Eagle Mine to the Humboldt Mill, but the EPA is concerned about the surrounding environment. The Marquette County Road Commission held a press conference today on this issue. TV6's Dustin Bonk reports. The EPA has removed uh, some of its objections. In the County Road 595 project has taken another leap forward. On December 4th, the EPA sent a letter to Dan Wyant of the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality saying they had withdrawn one of their objections. They now feel that all other routes have been considered and that the proposed 595 is the least damaging to the environment. Jim Iwanaki and the Marquette County Road Commission must still make several changes to their plans concerning wildlife and wetland mitigation before a permit will be issued. They have 30 days to get it all done. With the EPA recognizing that the proposed route is the best one, the enthusiasm is running high at the Road Commission. Though there is still work to be done, they are optimistic of the outcome. The Road Commission feels very good that this part of the project has been accepted and uh, we're excited that uh, the next 30 days will uh, bring success and that we will have a permit uh, here on January 4th. Iwanaki will be quickly drawing up revised plans and coordinating with the DEQ. They will present them to the EPA by the January 4th deadline. So I guess the best way to put it is they've opened the door, but there's still a couple of uh, barriers in front of that door that we need to remove before we can step through it. Spirits are high, though, and not just at the Road Commission. The Lake Superior Community Partnership is one organization that has been supporting the Road Commission's efforts. We're extremely pleased for the County Road Commission. It, this is a huge step forward for them. If the EPA is not satisfied by January 4th, then the permit will need to be received through the Army Corps of Engineers in a process that may take years. If that happens, Iwanaki believes the project may be scrapped. Dustin Bonk, TV6 News, Ishpeming.